it really inspired me when I was able to hear Nassim Harriman put together Einstein's field equation, uh, kind of mathematically proving that the universe is one entity and explaining that everything in the universe has equal density, so that a proton or a neutron star both have equal density, and that the vibration that's coexisting throughout the universe is causing everything to exist in the form that it's existing. Because I have long been an advocate of the collective consciousness and understanding that your behavior is affecting me even if I don't know who you are, this makes sense. This, this actually puts math to it. And, and basically, I mean, if you believe that base 10 mathematics proves anything, you can see that our reality, as we know it, everything here, these buildings, this wood, this camera, this face, is a product of all of us putting energy, consciously or unconsciously, I guess you could say putting energy or translating energy into the environment. So the universe as a whole is getting all this feedback from me and from you. We're all putting our, our, our behavior, our thoughts, and our actions into this reality. And then reality at the speed of light is mixing it all together, wherever it's getting it from, whether it's Earth and all the other planets in the universe, mixing it all together and then feeding it back. And there's probably localizations of that, like if all the people in a room scream really loud, the feedback is going to be, there's going to be loud screaming, you know? So there's a localization to the feedback, but there's also a delocalization so that if someone uh, a million miles away is screaming, I'm going to get fed back a bit of that. I just had three cups of coffee and I can feel it right here. I wonder what the average beats per minute would be for all eight billion of us.